Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another player review of the new flashback SBC Axel Witzel. Don't know why I've done this one over uh, Anzu Fadi, but you know what? Here we are. So <laughs> we can't really, uh, can't really explain that one. So let's get into the actual attributes for this card. So he has 82 pace broken down into 80 acceleration, 83 spin speed. His shooting stats are very, very balanced as I'm sure you guys can imagine. 85 positioning, 80 finishing, 86 shot power, 87 volleys, 80 long shots. That's a bit questionable. Uh, 86 vision for his passing, 73 crossing. That's also questionable. Uh, 95 and 90 shot and long pass. Into his dribbling, he has 90 ball control, 99 composure. Yeah. 80 agility, 89 reactions, 85 dribbling. I've already said that one. And 90 ball control and 76 balance. In his defensive stats, it's pretty much just 74 uh, as an average, literally. 74 interceptions and defensive awareness. 72 standing and 73 slide tackle. And 75 heading accuracy. In terms of his physicality, 83 stamina. I wish that was a little bit higher just because the amount of running this guy does. But we can't have everything. All right, so let's get into his actual card and how he plays. So the best way I can describe this card is literally think of the the ideal box to box midfielder. Like when you think of the term box to box midfielder, there's a there's few players that come into mind. Obviously, Milinkovic Savage being a good one, but this card literally is the perfect box to box midfielder I have seen or I have played with. It's just he's literally a jack of all traits kind of player. He's not incredible at one thing, but he's very good at everything else. So literally. I, the way I set up my midfield is I have a cam and two center mids. Well, two DMs, but obviously one of the DMs is more of a defensive one and the other DM is more of a roaming kind of... If you play football manager, you know the term roaming playmaker? Yeah, it's basically like that. So he's one that literally doesn't have a specific task. His, his task that he actually does is just roam around, do different things, just be everywhere. So, how this card plays is, he's so... Guys, if you've ever seen an amazing box-to-box -box midfielder play, like a player game of football, that's literally what this guy is. He's absolutely everywhere, he can do pretty much everything to such a high level. He, his passes are amazing, the way he can just dish a long pass, like a cross-the-field long pass. The, the, the amount of forward thinking he does. You know when you press R1 or R, B, A, and X, you know, the really, the really, really powerful bullet pass? The amount of those that he does that is very on point, that is quite insane actually. Obviously as well he has 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot, always a nice thing to have, especially that weak foot. Just, guys, if I'm describing the perfect box to box midfielder, because that's literally what he is, he's, he's pretty good at absolutely everything. The one thing I wish he did for me a little bit more was score, he did trouble the keeper from long distance and he, you know, there is a few instances where he completely missed the target completely. But in terms of a box-to-box -box midfielder that I want in my team, I'm not too fussed about it, I'll be honest. I mainly leave the scoring to my Cam and my three uh, attackers, but I mean, just this guy, he can support the attack, he can help the defense. He does a goal line clearance, which is quite insane. Obviously, I'll put it in one of the clips in the video. Just whether he's defensively sound, whether he's helping on the offense, he's just... He's just really, really good at pretty much everything. There wasn't really a weakness that I could find with this card. Maybe I want more of a scoring output from him, but apart from that, like, he's really, he's just an incredible all-round card. In terms of the instructions I had on him, I literally set him to basic. Like, just absolute bare bones, no instructions, and he was literally absolutely amazing. Obviously, depending on what you want, maybe you want him to be more defensive, I'd argue if you want him as to be more defensive, I'd get a better CDM, I'll be honest, because as a CDM, he's not really that great. But if you have a CDM and he's popping up on the offense, up, up back on the defense, obviously it's not that big of a deal then what his defensive stats are, because he's just another body in uh, in defending. But obviously then, if you do want him to come back and defend, you may want to set some of his instructions to something more, uh, t more of your fancy. But if you just set him on normal, he'll literally be uh, helping with the offense and helping back with the defense. And in terms of him picking the ball up on the defense, because of how good his long-range passing is, he can literally whip a ball up the field and just be ready for it to be delivering a devastating counter-attack. Now, in terms of the actual chem style, now, this is a bit of a tricky one, not gonna lie. So, there's a few different ones you can think of. If you want him to be more defensive, I recommend go for an anchor, just because it increases his standing and slide tackle up by 10, as well as increasing his pace up by a little bit as well. But the, the one I just, the one I went with is just basic. Like, basic is just, it increases all of his stats pretty much. 
to a high level. He has, on basic, he has 99 shot pass, 95 long pass, 91 vision, 95 ball control, 90 dribbling, 85 acceleration. His sprint speed goes up by 5. His shot power goes up by 5. His volleys and penalties, I mean, if you want to take pens, you know what? He's great doing that, but, you know, Bruno Fernandes up in cam. Please don't get mad at me. I am a Man United fan. Leave me alone. But yeah, guys, just as a basic, it increases all of his stats, which makes him more of a box to box midfielder, you could say. Now, let's get on to the main thing of him. He's about 140,000 coins on uh, PS4. He's around 150, 160 on, three, on the Xbox One and PC. Why did I say 360? Now, in terms of should you do this SPC, I think it's very risky to put that many coins into something that's untradeable. I would say if you have the coins and you're just looking for another box to box midfielder, another midfielder that can help you on offense and on defense, and you don't mind wasting all those coins? I mean, you're not really wasting them, but you know EA could potentially just put out another really good midfielder in the team of the week. Might be a little bit more expensive, but he'd also be tradable. So it's kind of hard to... It basically depends on your situation. If you just want another midfielder that can do pretty much everything to a high level, and you don't mind potentially risking EA releasing another card that's potentially better in like a, a few weeks, then I'd say go for it. He's absolutely brilliant. For 130,000, if he was tradable, I'd say that would definitely be worth it. I mean, I paid 120 for Joe Gomez. Like, yeah. you know. But again, it's because he's tradable. If EA released a Joe Gomez SPC that was like 160k, you know I ain't doing that. Because being untradable is really risky, especially this early on in the game with how expensive he is. But he is still a very solid midfielder that I can definitely recommend. So guys, if you have enjoyed this review, please drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel if you're around here, let me know what players you guys want me to review. I am looking to get more of these SBC cards reviewed, it's just obviously because they're so expensive, I'm trying not to have most of my coins, like, combined, not combined, but locked away into a player. I wish EA released loan cards again, like a loan card and then the regular one, that would make this so much easier, but we can't have everything. So guys, that's it for the video, see you guys later, take care, peace.